Hello everybody and welcome back to Inscription. We are back again after defeating the first boss, the Prospector. I don't know how well I did, by the way, just so you guys know, uh, I am recording this all in one go for the most part, like at least... I'm going to be at least recording, like, quite a lot of episodes before the first one comes out, because I'm kind of binging it in one big go, mainly to avoid spoilers from the comments or anything like that. I know that most of you wouldn't do that, but some people do. Uh, and two, this game is apparently better played in sort of longer sittings, in, like, when you have the time for it, sort of, like, like I do now. It's sort of dark, and I've turned the lights off and got them got in the mood, so I'm going to continue on. We're doing so, uh, we're doing well so far in this run. I uh, had a pretty good prospect to kill there, and we're going to carry on. I don't know if we carry on with the cards that we just previously had or not, but we'll uh, jump into this first area in this new-looking map. You arrive an inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurks within. It spoke... Pass one of my trials and I will be yours in a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. You will decide your success. They will decide your success or failure. I spoke again, but first you will choose a trial. The trial of the kin. Two of the three drawn cards must be kin to pass. I don't know what that means. Uh, the Trial of Health, the three drawn cards must have at least six health combined to pass. And the Trial of Wisdom, the three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. Let's go with the sigils one, I think that's the most likely for us to win. Let the Trial of Wisdom begin. <laughs> yes. Two from the Pronghorn, zero from the Stir, and one from the Stinkbug. You have passed the Trial. The Beast reveals itself. It was the Rat King the opossum, or the field mouse. Okay, so let's take a little look at what we got going on here. We got the burn king um, for the extra burns. We got the possum. Uh, when a card bear bearing this soul damages another creature, that creature perishes. When a card bearing this sigil is played, a copy of it is created in your hand. When a card bearing this played, uh, a rabbit creature is, is created in your hand. Hmm. I think I'm going to go for this field mouse here. Inhabited field mouse joined your men- uh, Your what? I don't know what that said. But anyways, um... Yeah, let's go this way. Oh. Oh no, you can't use that. Oh god, it's got a face on it. If, de if you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of your cards with these. Oh, okay. Interesting. I'll take that. Trimming down our deck is not is always a, a good idea, I think. Okay, so let's go with the... Um, Pronghorn cost two, we need two sacrifices. Okay, so let's go with Squirrel. Sacrifice that and go Porcupine. Good. Okay, we've got bees, they just got flight, that's fine. Tips the scale a little bit. Let's go like that, and then... There you go, get rid of those bees. We've got the bullfrog there. <clears throat> it's gonna hurt a little bit. And we sacrifice that. Play the warren there. Grab us a rabbit. We don't need that right now, we'll keep it in our hand. Oh no, don't kill my don't, don't kill my pronghorn, please. Um Take another one of these. Yeah, that's good. We can put a rabbit down. There you go. The B will do some hits, but that's okay. It's tipping the scale a little bit here. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Take one of these cards, I think. Bullfrog's good. Um yeah, we'll go for Porcupine for Bullfrog right now. Bullfrog's a little better. Count as that flight as well. Um, take another one of these. Okay, we got that Mantis God this time. So let's take off the Mantis God and go with that. Take off that and put out the Mantis God, sorry. We do need to upgrade our Mantis God, though. Hey, that gives us a win, though. Nice. Okay, now we're building up some cards. I'm starting to get this now. Starting to understand a little more. I do that. The river otter. 
Ah, the elusive otter is submerged itself during my turn. The adder. Okay, so let's take a little look here. Touch of death. Uh, waterborne. A card bearing the sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. When submerged, a person creature creatures attack its owner directly. Interesting. And then here, I don't know what this is. I'm guessing this is just draw extra. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Seems interesting. So we want to be upgrading our Mantis God no matter what here. We have no food. But the dialogue's pretty much the same every time here. Um, oopsie. I keep forgetting I need to plus. There you go. They enhance the creature's health. Treat it with your Mantis God. We need to do that on damage as well if we can. That'd be really strong. <clears throat> Ooh, this time we have everything's going to start moving around. This is going to be tricky because I don't really know how to deal with that very well. We'll try. Um... Mm. Okay. Let's do squirrel into bullfrog. Just go with bullfrog there. And next turn. This is going to be this could be rough. We could lose this fight real fast here. Porcupine can uh, go in place of that there. And then two are going to take a turn. Yeah, this is going to be really rough, right? And then we do that again and go for another porcupine, right? It tips the scale in our favor a bit, but this is still going to be rough. Actually, the porcupine, that actually did, that did, did us some good, I'll be honest. Um, and this time we'll take that. I don't actually want to play the wolf yet, you know. Gives us the victory, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Nice. Okay. I'm, I'm really getting the hang of this now. It's a bit, a bit tricky to start, but I'm getting there. The alpha. Variable alpha. It's courage emboldens the creature that stands beside it. Ah, okay. So it, like, buffs up. Creatures adjacent to the card can gain one power. It does cost five burns to play. The ant queen. Let's 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 go with the alpha. That seems interesting. Five burns to play is a lot, but that seems interesting. The burns of the ancient woman creaks and groans as she approaches. With gently shaking hands, she places her offerings before you. Let's take um. Yeah, let's take the the bug head. Goes back into the darkness. Okay, another fight coming up. Right, let's play this right. We've got a tree in our way here. We do have Mantis God straight away, which is pretty nice. I think we'll try and play that. It can be a little risky to play it this early, but... I think it could be interesting. First, we're going to go under. Right, so let's, play a, let's, let's try this out, shall we? Play a squirrel. Let's try this. I'm guessing this is just draw three. It does have a damage though, it does have the ability to deal damage. Okay. Only very slightly tips the scale in our favor here. Hmm. I think we're better off. Let's take let's take this. Yeah, we're better off doing that. Oh, it gains damage over time. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Anyways, that's fine. That majorly tipped the scale in our favor. Okay, we won that fight. Right, what we got here? I don't know what this is, so let's take a look at that. Oh, maybe we'll actually take the, the bag, though. The bag could be pretty good. We'll go with bug. The ringworm. The underappreciated um, ringworm. Its value is not readily apparent. Hmm. I don't know what this is. Let's try let's let's have a little look, see. We'll find out. You found yourself among the grove of thick pungent mushrooms. You squinted to see a figure through the thick cloud of spores. We are the mycologists, yes? Yes. 
and we are performing our experiments far from from where not welcome elsewhere. We will experiment on your flock, yes? We will require two of the same creatures. One for each of us. Let's try it out, I guess. I'm guessing this is going to combine the two. Look away. Oh, nice. That's really cool. Okay, and we're on to another boss. Of course, again, puts us in a rough position. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat beside a brackish pond with his feet submerged into the dark waters. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. It's the angler. Go fish. <laughs> okay, okay. Lucky draw. Right, so what's he got? He's got a kingfisher. So we've dealt with them before, but they are a little bit problematic. So put out the smoke, put out that, and then we'll sacrifice that for a bullfrog. We'll sacrifice that for this guy. Another kingfisher coming up. Which fish? Hard choice. Ooh, okay, it's hooked our card. I'm guessing that means it's like stuck in place now, maybe? Let's grab a squirrel here. Okay, and sacrifice that. And get our rabbit. We don't need our rabbit for now. That tips the scale in our favor enough. Go fish. Okay, so this time we've got some bloody ones. The bait bucket. They only take one. We got the Mantis God. Unfortunately, we don't really have a good place to put the Mantis God right now. Uh, I'm sorry, Stu. I'm going to get rid of you and put the Mantis God there so it just destroys all of these. Let's put the rabbit down as fodder as well. Whoa, great white. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, thank you, Bullfrog, for taking care of one of those. Uh, that was something I was not prepared for. I'll tell you that for sure. The angler. Mind his hook. Play squirrel or something when he aims it. That will protect your best cards. Don't know what that means. <laughs> I guess you're, you're just going to die, Stinkbug, but I tried. Oh my lord, that tips the scale way in his favour. That beefy porcup porcupine here. We're dead. We're so dead. We're dead. That's it. We're done. I did not know about the Great Whites. There you go. Perished. <laughs> go fish. I was not ready. I was not ready. Do we have to play through the Prospector bit again, or is it just from that next area? But I could use some detail. <sighs> Go for that, I guess. Cost one blood from the hand tentacle. One power and three health from that, I guess. And... Quills from that. Go for it. Okay, take our pit picture. And let's see how far we restart from. So if, we, if we restart all the way from the back, this is going to be a long playthrough. Oh, okay. This is different. It's very new. I know where that is.
I have prepared for what lies ahead. To be impaired on the angler's hook, like the one that came before you. Your starting deck. Seems decent enough. Those look like we're starting back from the very start. Okay, let me just walk over to this thing with the knife. Does not seem to have anything going on with it. Can we figure this out again? Still can't move some of these tiles, so that's a that's a no. Oh, this is different now. Wait, what? I have a plant now. Where do I put this plant? I don't know why I was holding a plant there. Pluck that from the oil from the oil painting. You must not like the cards that I dealt you. Fine. Wait, what? Oh, let's go. Ooh, okay. The ferried mantis. Its praying claws strike both left and right. The elk fawn. Quickly grows into an elk. I'm going to take the mantis here. I don't know what the uh, the luck leaf does, but we'll find out. Mantis, you can get upgraded here. Extra health for the mantis. Yes, please. Oh, I keep doing that. Boom, there you go. Extra health for our mantis. Push your luck or pull away. I'm going to push my luck. Yeah, let's, let's pull away. So we can risk our cards to get extra upgrades. I like that a lot. Making the Mantis that powerful, or that much health, is going to be very good. Okay, so well, let's play a Squirrel. And then we'll do that. Okay. Seems good. Ooh, I didn't realize that was a Pronghorn that we're fighting here. Not good. Um... Prong, that squirrel's going to protect us a little bit, but not much. Stink bug. Uh, let's draw a card first. Uh, draw another squirrel, I think. Put that there. Stink bug, you can go there. Should take out the pronghorn. Oh, not quite. Grab that. And then plus place the wolf. No, not there. Okay. Place it there, apparently. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Okay, we did it. More cards for us. But how exactly does this work? The mole. The omnipresent mole. It burrows and emerges and blocks a lab landborn attacker. A coyote and the beehive. Right. So, bees within. Once a card bear in this sigil is struck, a bee is created in your hand. Bee is defined as one power, one health, and airborne. And then a mole. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing this sigil will move to that space and receive the strike instead. Intriguing from the mole there. I think we'll take the mole. Go this way. Wood carvers. Go with this. And we carry on. Don't need to read all the dialogue for these guys, I don't think. Yeah, we've got another battle here. This one is with a totem, though. The submerged totem. That could be difficult. I've, I've been finding the submerged enemies particularly, um, particularly difficult. Right, so let's go like this, and then let's get the snow out. I don't know why these ones in particular talk, by the way. I'm guessing it's just a storytelling device, but we might have some extra power that I'm missing. This definitely feels like this could be a death. Get the stink bug there as well. Although, no, we tipped the scales pretty far in our, in our favour that time. That's going to kill both of them, but block some damage. Why did I do that? I picked up a squirrel for no reason, right? Use the squirrel in a bottle as well. To block some damage. This is, this is sort of... I'm checkmated here now, aren't I? 
Like, if I pick up any of these, I, I can't play them. So I've just lost. And then I'm dead. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a little lost on what to do in situations like that. Try this out. But other than that, I'm kind of getting it now. Let's try this out. What does this do? One blood cost. Skunk. Good. Do a card upgrade here so we can apply one thing to another card. So... Hmm. What does this do again? Any, like, let's get rid of the skunk real quick. And then let's add that to our mantis. Good. Okay. That should be pretty useful, I think. Go for a regular old battle here, I guess. I've only got one light left, which definitely worries me. So let's play out the uh, the mole here. Mole seems like it's pretty pretty useful for blocking some damage. I don't know why I did what I did there, but and now you've got a mole. Okay, I just I'm I'm real bad at this. I'm real bad at this. I, I keep thinking, oh cool, I've got it. I understand now. And then I get absolutely pummeled in the next fight, and I don't really know what I'm doing wrong. Um, I guess I play my stir. I don't know. Is it worth playing my stir? I. Yeah, I, I guess it kind of is, isn't it? So we play the stir here. Then we play the stink book there. But is, is that worth doing? Because they're both just going to die, right? Yeah, so was, was, was there any point in that? And now I can get a squirrel here, but I can't play my... I'm not very good at this. What a shame. Okay, let's do our death card again. I don't really get the point in this death card thing. I keep making these death cards, and it never seems to show up again. It's only shown up again once. So, is there really any point? Right, we go again. Back from the start. Let's give it another run. You'll prove your worth in a short order. Okay, that's good. Study it. I, I've got it, I've got it. Ooh, let's grab one of these. We'll see, what, see what's going on here. Choose from among those challengers who came before you. Ah, oh, here we go. Let's grab grab this, shall we? I see, I see. Okay, so now we can go for that. Plus HP, I like it. I'm gonna go one more. Yeah, there you go. Now let's take it back. Haha. -ha. Taking risks, but it seems to be working so far. Right. Another fight. Nice top deck. Let's keep it going on that. There you go. Good damage already. God damn, can you like one turn it if you get lucky? Um, Pick this. Bullfrog here. Yeah, let's sacrifice you, I guess, for my bullfrog. And then go there with the bullfrog to prevent damage, I guess. There you go, we got it. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Back to the trapper again. Get some pelts going on. Okay, we just get the one free one. That's all. I want to get that golden one. That, that seems like it could be, could be very useful. And this is for totems, right? Here's the totems again. 
your flight here. Um, yeah, let's go with the flight there. I like that. And we got another fight coming in. A totem fight as well. Are these these always seem to appear after the totem lady, so gotta be ready for them. Okay. Good. Place that down. Do a bunch of damage right off the bat there. If we get the right cards, I think we can do it like one shot. Ooh. Hey, the tail just saved me there. Um let's grab one of these. Yep. <laughs> nice. But unfortunately, we're attacking the boulder at the minute. Oh, we did it. Nice. Okay, we have a strong deck right now, I think. We got this. I'm going to show me some exquisite pelts. We've just got the one pelt, unfortunately. Um, Turkey Vulture. Raven. Raven seems decent. I need to, basically, I do need some more burn-based things, though. I'm not really using burns all that much. Elk. Elk is also pretty interesting. Let's take the bat. I need some more burn-based uh, things here. It's a campfire here again, I think. That's not a campfire. It is a totem, though. This is good. Hmm. Well, that wouldn't make sense because that would just give flight to all. Let's let's take the beast head. I don't know how many beasts we have on our deck, but this will help. Okay, next fight. Okay, so we do have a wolf here that can use it a little bit. I see. Um, squirrel here. Bullfrog into squirrel. Good, good. Yeah, the coyote is going to kill our bullfrog here. That's okay. Because uh, now we can play our stink bug. Maybe I'll do this, actually. Let's uh, let's play a squirrel. Play the stink bug. And then take care of both of those to play our wolf that has flight. Seems a little risky, I realise. But tip the scale, at least... That, that, do you know what? Honestly, that was just a genuinely... Just awful idea, wasn't it? Um, I guess here. Okay, so can I just give up now, please? Checkmate. I don't. Yeah, I, I have literally no way out of this. Just let me leave. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused on, like, I made a bad play there, I get I get that, but I'm a little confused on to get get out of situations like that. It seems difficult. Elk. Go with that, shall we? Another totem piece. Move, she moved to offer hers. The merge seems pretty good. We'll take that. Wait, what? Okay. Why not? Let's try that out. <laughs> we're, we're definitely dead to the prospector here, I'm pretty sure. But we'll give it a go. Miss chills around you will not learn. Bigger emerge from the fog. A prospector. <laughs> Easy, boss. Just pop that mule. Just pop that mule. Okay, so... You sure? Just stop saying things like this to me. Right, um... I guess... Dips in our scale again. Oh, God. Right. Burl again. And then... Wolf here. Kills you. But then the adders are just going to kill us, right? Yeah, we're dead. Ah, 
I'm not sure if I get it. <laughs> Getting kind of pummeled here. Okay, I finally get how the death cards work a little more now. This one isn't going to be too exciting because we don't really have any options on what to put on it, but there you go. Do I just keep typing turtle metal every time? I guess. Let's try it out. Right. Picture taken again. Let's go. Okay, we got another one of these. Still don't really know what this means, Gilly Suit Man. You keep showing me this painting. Doesn't really mean anything to me right now. <laughs> I don't know what I meant to get out of that, but we're back on the table. Okay, your pitiful deck, thank you. Alright, so let's stand up again and try and go over towards this. Whoa, weird. I don't know what I meant to do with this. Oh, wait. Here we go. You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel. Though you may wish you hadn't. God. Give me some of those teeth, please. Hey, little musical mushrooms. Okay. Okay. Let's carry on. Corpse maggots. Oh god. The inevitable maggot. Intriguing, I guess. Corpse eater. If a creature that you earned perishes by combat, a card bearing the sigil um, in your hand is automatically played in its place. Kingfisher. That thing seemed pretty powerful before, so I kind of want that. Or the alpha. I'll take the alpha. Plus two health here. What? Why do you look like that now? <laughs> What's happened to your face? Um. I'm gonna go again on this one. I lost it, fucker. Okay. The uh, I guess I'll play Bullfrog here, but play it. Actually, let's yeah, let's let's do that and then let's play it here. I guess. I guess I take that again. And then do that. That should kill you. Good. Nice. Nice. I'm getting a little better at that. Um, pick you up. We do that. Hey, that'll win us that fight. Nope. Apparently not. You can just be stay there. That should win us it. There you go. Okay. The early fights, at least, I'm doing much better at. But generally, I'm just not doing too great. Okay, give me one of your pelts and... Ah, okay, I'll take that. Wolf pelt. There you go. Nice. We'll be on our way, thank you. We'll go for the fire again. The fire's risky as hell. I, I feel like you've got to do it, though. You've got to, you've got to gamble with the fire, otherwise, like, what's the point? There you go. That'll do me. Okay. Still, this is very scary, but I'm handling it. Right, you can go there, Stu. I'm not going to play the pelt. Maybe keeping the pelts better just, just for the trades later on. 
Ah, oh, the pronghorn. Shit, I didn't realize it was a pronghorn. Hell. Bad idea. Okay. Um. Ah, oh, we got Bruce got a little bunch of pelts. Fuck. Can go there. This should this should win us win us this. Nice one. Tip the scales. Try and do as much damage over as we can, but yeah. Um go this way. I got pelts clean. Air pelts. Ooh, so we'll take a we'll take a mantis here. And a porcupine, because I think they're they're pretty good. Ooh, and here's some, ooh, here's some interesting stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so we have a bear that can fly, which seems pretty good. Cow that grows into a more f powerful form. Ant spawner. I feel like I've got to go for the grizzly. It seems, seems risky, but... I gotta try it. I'm gonna go for that again. Plus one damage. I'm gonna go for damage on my mantis, I think. I'm gonna I'm gonna double down on this. Yes, okay. Okay. No more riskies. Let's go. Okay. This is getting a bit tense. I'm, I'm, I keep feeling like I'm learning, but I'm not sure. I still don't really know if I should be playing this dude or not. It's a bit weird looking. There's my grizzly. I can't really play anything here, unfortunately. You said great draw, but I quite literally can't play you right now. Let's just play that there for now. That's good. That's good. You gotta attack the boulder. God damn that stump attacking. That's so that's so stupid, but I kinda get the point, but still. Um Put that on the board here for now. Yeah. Hey, that tips it in our scale quite a lot. We lost our mantis unfortunately there. But we can go. Right, let's go. Squirrel. Stink bug, and then grizzly. Boom. That was a nice amount of earth damage there as well for some teeth. Planned that one out. Excuse me? I think I'll be taking the 01001010101 card. Thank you. Hmm, right, what do we want to sacrifice? Porcupine, I think. And we will upgrade. Not what I was looking to upgrade, but I guess you. Having return damage is a good idea on you. Seems like we can't add more than one sigil to certain things, which is a shame, but that's fine. Right. Back to this man again. I know the deal. Past a massive empty bowl surrounded by heaps of unidentified gibble, uh, giblets and scantilies. It seems the bowl was designed for a dog. But what earthly hound would require a meal of that size? Where's that hound of mine? Boss time, eh? Indeed, indeed. Right, okay, so. I think we go... Um... Hmm. Put the smoke down, put the squirrel down. Then, 
I think we want to go with the mantis like there. And you know what? Yeah, let's go with that and then the stir there. And we've got enough burn tokens for later. That tips the scale now way easily. Oh wow, that was a that was a one hit. That was really good. Okay. But it turns all our cards into nuggets. Okay, that's I kind of planned that. Not really. Actually, this is very terrible for us. Because now we only have one slot. We need, we, I gotta say, we need him to do some killing for us here. <sighs> Shit. Not gonna be enough. This is gonna hurt. I think we're stuck here. I think we're, I think we're, yeah. We're stuck. He's got us. We're dead. I, I just, the, these situations, I don't understand how you get out of them. Like, I can get this here, but the snake's gonna kill me. Didn't kill me, at least. Not got enough blood for it, see? Okay, that tips it in our favor a little bit more. Still gonna die. I don't know, we're, we're, we're catching up, we're catching up. This is somehow working out. Okay, I am surprised, but at least I know I can do stuff like that now. That was something I didn't realize I'd be able to do, and that worked well. Thank you for relating my candles. Very well, choose a rare card. Strange Lava. The Child 13. Poor abandoned child that does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? And the pack rat. The prudent pack rat never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. When a card bearer of this sigil is played, you will receive a random item as long as you have less than three items. Give it a go. Onwards. After the hiring encounter with a prospector, you gain yourself the um you gather yourself and continue onwards. Indeed we do. Okay, let me see. The buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. You beheld the wetlands. Okay, let's go this way. Back into this cave again. I think I'll go for blood. I have a lot of high blood cost things. There you go. Easy. You have passed. Now we gain the cat with the tail, which could be interesting. I still don't really know how this works. When a card bearing the soul is sacrificed, it does not perish. Or we can go with the beehive. I'm going to try the cat's tail, the, the, the cat with the tail here. See if that works out. See what item we get here. It's bleeding yields three blood, if you can ignore the bleeding. To the user, you will replace... You will place a weight on the scale. The, p the pain is temporary. Ah, oh, That's kind of interesting. To the user, nothing will happen. The bottle of goo has no use. Let's try the goat. God damn, this is really getting kind of crazy. So, right. Place this cat down here. And then, can I sacrifice that to do that? And then sacrifice that to do that? Oh, okay, okay. That's a good first turn, right? A good first turn. Wait. 
Oh, uh, it can still die by normal means. I'm dumb. Okay, that's fine. Grab the mantis. We'll sacrifice the bullfrog for the mantis here. Takes out both of you. Beautiful. Mantis is great. I like the thing with the pronged attacks. They're really good. Got another cave here. I'm just going to do the blood again. I think we're more than likely to get to draw the blood. I still don't know what this card is. There you go, we got it. Okay. Right, we got the Kingfisher with when the card bears an ant is created in your hand. Creature loses one power. I don't really know what this card does, I'll be honest. And then a flying rat king that can add four burns. Let's go with the Kingfisher. Don't know how good that'll be, but I'll try it out. Right. Then let's sacrifice. You are my choice. I'm going to sacrifice you. I'm going to add that to... My Mantis? Yeah, let's go with a Mantis. Doesn't really make sense, actually, because it's not got beefed up health. But hopefully we can beef up its health later on. Lowering its power when it only has one health doesn't make a lot of sense, actually, does it? Lucky draw. Okay, so... If we do this into this and play that there, we can then go boom. And... Boom. Okay, let's not play that, then. Okay, the stats of scales in our favor. And then we'll go grab that and go boom, boom, put you there. Nice amount of damage going over the top. That could actually win us it here. Yep, indeed it does. Grab some cards. We'll go to the campfire here. Use the leaf again. Whenever it could show us, I might as well. Rat King. Tragic Rat King. When the uh, tangled bodies become corpses, you'll gain four. Ant Queen, and another Mantis that has a mushroom next to it for some reason. I'm going to take the Mantis, why not? I don't know what the mushroom was there for. I don't know if it was just visual, but whatever. Okay, this is plus damage again. Let's have a little look-see here. Let's, let's just try and beef up this Mantis again here, shall we? Let's, let's double her. Yeah, there you go. Just so we've got another pretty high power mantis here. The mantises are really good. Another fight comes our way. Okay, so squirrel into... Hmm. Maybe I place the mantis here just to protect myself a bit. Let's try that out. Because then we can just deal three hits for free without getting hurt. I mean, obviously we get hair on these slots, but you know what I mean. Okay. Not getting to play a grizzly as much as we might want here, but I think that's okay. Doesn't tip the scale too far in their favor. Right, and then actually, I think now if we go and then play the grizzly, this might win it for us. Yes, okay, nice. A little hard to keep track of when that's going to be the right play, but I'm liking it when it is. Use this again, why not? River Otter, Ringworm, and Pokemon. Don't really know what the Ringworm's useful for. Go with the Porcupine again then, shall we? And then we'll do some card combining here, I guess. Did you bring two of the same? We'd like to experiment. I think I did. Ooh, double mantis. It, if this works the way I think it what does, this is going to be insanely good. That's a strong mantis. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, back to this boss again. I don't really know how to deal with the sharks, I'll admit. But we'll try our best. The mud tug hard at your feet, forcing you to slow down your pace. A rank odor caused your stomach to churn, your eyes to water. It was the rotting fish that hung from the brace around you. 
a huge amount of perched. Go fish. Okay. So we definitely want to play the mantis here. Then we'll do that. Place that. That literally got us a life straight away, which might, might mean our mantis is dead. We'll see. Um. Got a stir down there. Oh wait, no, we've, we've won. <laughs> right? Yep. <laughs> oh my god. This mantis is pretty heckin' strong. He didn't even get to attack. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> Need a light. Okay. Wow. Your reward. We got the amoeba. Seems interesting. Its sigils are ever changing. The dos. That filth feral hog, it becomes incessant when chimes are struck. When a card bearer bearing this sigil is played, a chime is created um, on each empty adjacent space. A chime is defined as zero power, one health, interest, and the strange lava. Turn into something better after one turn. Should we try the amoeba? That sounds kind of interesting. You consider out of one of the anglers catches as a meal, but the rank order deters you. Dinner will have to wait. Let me think. On to the next board. A frigid gust of wind billowed unwelcoming into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow fails to distract you from the chill in your burns. You have ascended to the snow line. We'll go for that again. Again, we'll just go for blood straight away. That's not blood, that's power. Ooh, actually power. Power's probably a good shout for us. We've got a lot of high power, uh, high power fellas here. Oh, there you go. There you go. We got six on our mantis. Nice. Okay. So, the corpse maggots. The alpha or the fisher. So that would be if a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing the sigil is automatically played. Um, I think this is a good one. Go for it. Hmm. You can't take more than three items and you have three. It said perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend. What the hell is that? A pack rat. Thank you. Here. Yeah, let's go this way because there's a campfire up here. Oh, strange. <laughs> we got double corpse maggot there. Okay, so let's do that into that. Put the cat there. And unfortunately, we do have to skip turn because we, we drew pretty awfully there. There's going to be a lot of hits for us straight away. Um, it's actually pretty bad. Uh... Shit. <laughs> We're dead. We just drew really awfully there. Turkey Vulture and the Alpha. Go with the Elk Fawn, I guess. My, my deck's getting pretty big now. Plus one damage, okay. Have a little look-see. What could we use more damage on? The amoeba, potentially? We've not even seen the kingfisher show up yet. Do you know what? Maybe the cat? Adding damage to the cat could be a good idea. Now let's try the kingfisher. I'm going to double up on the damage here as well. I'm going to go twice. Okay, good. Okay, let's get out of here. Into another fight.
Oh, what the hell? I gotta admit, didn't mean to do that. Why didn't I play the Mantis? Do you know what? I'm just gonna play the Mantis. It'll instantly crush this guy. Yeah, I don't know why I accidentally got rid of my eye there. Perhaps I'd like to replace it. Thank you. Oh, what the hell? Regardless, the choice is final. Okay. Didn't know what I was picking up there, but fair enough. Moose book. The regal moose, the creature of the wild. Make way for it. Hefty. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing this sigil will move in the direction inscribed on the sigil. Uh, creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. I think I'll go for, go for another elk fawn here for now. And this is uh, going to allow us to delete some cards. I've not been to this before. You came across some familiar stones, but there was something different. So this is just to delete cards, I think. Any cards we're just not using at all. Please no. Bullfrog, I suppose. However, the Burn Lord was pleased by a sacrifice. A minor boon to the Burn Lord. You will start each battle with one extra burn. Okay. We shook the viscera, the poor bullfrog, and carried onwards. Nice. Okay, that's interesting. Extra burn. Nice. Okay, good. Lots of elk fawn here. This could be bad for us. They're all going to turn to elk in the next turn. Um, I feel like that's going to be bad, but try that out. One of you gone. Ooh, did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excessive damage is not wasted. It carries on to the behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Look for you. Nice. It's good. Get rid of them two and go for that. Just go up more damage. Tips the scales in our favour a little. Only a little. The grizzly. Nice. Grizzly goes down. And finishes off the fight. God damn, we have so many teeth. Right, this out. Ooh, okay. So, one damage, five health with the Burrow ability, which is pretty good. Yeah, let's take that one. Let's take that one. Really should be naming these differently, but oh well. I didn't realize. Okay. Two of the same again. Do we have duplicates? I don't know if we do. Oh, we do. Okay, we have duplicate. Let's go with duplicate Elk Fawn. I think that's likely to be a bit more impactful. Nice. Lovely. We'll try and make that work in the next fight here. And we're on to the boss. Try this out. Of course, as usual. A man stood before you, a man you recognised immediately. It was the Trapper. You've reached out to examine his words, but he stopped you. Sorry, but today you'll supply the pelts. Whoa. Okay, that's pretty cool. The music's awesome. Strange frog. Leaper trap. Oh god. I don't know what's the best to play here, I'll be honest. Another trap. Strange frogs come in. I'm probably going to die here just because I don't understand this boss right now. We'll see.
Okay. Yeah, this is tipping not in our favour so much. Porcupine down. More traps coming out. Traps everywhere. And the work around it out here, why not? Okay, so that's gonna deal one damage when it attacks, I see. We got a bunch of pelts for that. Yeah, okay, that's one life gone for us. Oh wait, no, that's Vassal's dead. Okay, that guy's tough. But this is a great point to leave off this episode, I think. Let's uh, fill in our death card and we'll be on our way. Definitely go with the Grizzly. Oh wait, that was just for the cost. Shit. Stats of the Mantis. And the Sidge will go with that. Oh. Um, just Turtle this time. <laughs> Death awaits. Okay. We're on to the next one. This is going to be really tough for me to get through. Okay. Last saved 11 seconds ago. Cool. We can we can leave it here then. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. What a great uh what a great run we had there and just a fantastic game so far. I'm really enjoying it. And I hope you guys are enjoying this too. I know the commentary isn't really of the normal style, but this is the sort of game where I think I just want to experience it. Either way, I hope you guys are enjoying and I'll see you guys in the next one.